beautiful morning because there's not oh look at you meet meet there's not much else, much else that describes this morning look at it it is 6 a.m right now I want to show you guys the balcony. <laughs> there are chickens all around. Chicken, 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 chicken. Let's go to the balcony because that view is not normal. Yes. Is this my life now? Oh my god! This is pretty dope, isn't it? Fuck! I get it, I'm awake, okay? First time trying out the pool. See this bit of my Dude, this temperature is good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh. uh. <laughs> you have a chance to live forever. Would you take this chance? To what to read? And, and there is a disclaimer. All the rest of humanity will still live and die as usual. But you have a chance to take this immortality and use it. So I, I'm just going to present my case. Yeah, you have one to two minutes to answer this question. Okay. If you're going to take this chance or not, and explain. It. Good luck. Ready? <laughs> Wait. What? <well>, okay. <laughs> so life and death. All the questions. <laughs> Wait, is Pretty this much. Is this starting it or? Ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Um. So obviously, I'm going to live forever because you can always kill yourself, right? Like, if I have the option to either you're gonna live forever or if it gets boring, I just kill myself. And then, so that's for sure. And um, then the question I think becomes like, how do you handle it to actually have an impact? Because I think it's very easy that if you know you have like a thousand years or whatever to do something, to then say, okay, I'm just gonna take a hundred years and chill out in Bali and do nothing. Um, so, I guess that I would, I mean, I already I answered the question whether immortality, that's for sure. Unless, unless I can't choose whether I die. Like, if I can't say, okay, now it's gone, I'm gonna kill myself, then that's a different question. I'll probably still do it, just because you don't know what will happen if you don't do it. <laughs> Though you have a long time to figure it out. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think the only people who don't choose immortality, like, are the people who are not interested in their own life. Like, if you like your life, and you're living it to the extent that you want to live it, why would you just not take the chance and be able to do that forever? Because you do what you want to do, right? So, um, that's my case. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the projects I ran on last year was to create a global platform to sell the most wonderful viewers worldwide in uh, Europe. Oh, it's a baby snake. Oh, come, is that so cute? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay. Alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
It's cute. <laughs> yeah, it's cute, especially when it's hot. It's cute. <laughs> oh, I think it moved. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? And there is the Americans use the technology from the snakes, pits like that, to create the infrared following tracking devices of their missiles. Mm. The Tomahawk missile, the cruise missiles, they use a snakes. <sighs> so we just had an um, event here at the house, I mean you saw a little bit of it. Um, and they have that every week here, which is kind of like a mastermind event, it's a networking event, when people get together, the people of this house, they organize brunch, so there's food for everyone for free. And so, yeah, a couple of people get together. Sometimes there's apparently like some talks, someone presenting something. Um, and I mean, how long did I just, I think for six hours. I mean, I think people came in at like 10 a.m., maybe 11 a.m. And now it's 4 p.m. Um, and we just hung out, you know, talked and all that good stuff. And um, it kind of reminded me of, of New York because even though this is a completely different environment, the people who were there are all, you know, digital nomads, entrepreneurs, people running their own business, people doing freelancing, you know, people just doing their shit and people living the life they wanna live. Um, and that was just amazing. Very, very like-minded people, had super interesting conversations about business, business and about life. Um, and yeah, I'm super, super excited. Now I gotta poop and then I'm actually gonna work a bit. And because you also gotta do that. And I think I also realized that that can be very distracting and that will be one of the, I already see one of my biggest struggles of being here in Bali will be to drag into this too much where you wanna meet all of these amazing people and wanna go out and do all of these events and, and experience the city and, and the island. And obviously you saw, I mean, just look out of there. It's just, it just looks incredible. Um, and it's about, you know, not getting distracted too much. <sighs> but um, it was amazing to, to talk to these calibers of people um, that just do their own shit and do things differently. Um, and I'm not afraid to do things differently. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun and I'm gonna poop and work. So <clears throat> they don't have a kitchen in here actually, except for the kitchen that the staff can use. So nothing that we can use, but <laughs> we ordered some food. They got a big salad and some falafel. They also put some gluten in there. Um, and this was like five bucks. So that's pretty cool. I also get some coconut water. Yeah, organic and pure. Just as I like it. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just uploading the vlog right now. So um, I actually had to catch up with that. And um, yeah, kind of trying to figure out my schedule now because obviously now I am in a different time zone and I'm seven hours ahead of Germany and I'm 13 hours ahead of New York. Um, so that's kind of a logistical problem. I now got to figure out how to, you know, have client calls and all of that stuff. Um, and yeah, tomorrow is Monday and I want to really be productive tomorrow and, and have a full full day of work tomorrow are going out all of the reports and all of that stuff so yeah excited and um, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog with this so this was the first full day in Bali an amazing event with amazing cool people um, you know got a bit used to Bali and I still can't comprehend that this is the place I'm living now um, and I'm um, gonna do some work and so see you tomorrow peace out hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you